ni bila hadi yote familia inaunganika na wanaomba pamoja Yesu akiwa mlinzi mawimbi yanapita kando Sunyumbani bila hadi yote familia inaunganika na wanaomba pamoja Yesu akiwa mlinzi mawimbi yanapita kando chukue ni vyote muachie Yesu Mambo ya dunia maana yeye anawaelewa mtashinda yote chukue ni vyote muachie Yesu mambo ya dunia maana yeye anawaelewa mtashinda yote Yesu mkombozi wetu jembe dali bwana wa mabwana Mkombozi wetu jembe dali bwana wa mabwana Welcome. We take this opportunity this time to get our prayer before we do anything. Biamona sing in the way Kiavagen, and then Biamona sing in the trust of Mary and Ariao, who and Jacqua walk on a cat to a subject with us in the area of Christo, your own motto. Amen. 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 Ni mzigo 
This is a promise. And you are promised to God. Amen. Who are you? I'm going to be in the middle. I'm going to be in the middle. I'm going to be in the middle. nafazi ya pekee kusherehekea mbele zako tukifurahia kwa sababu ya yote mazuri unayotutendea kwa maisha haya baba tumekaa chini ya dari ya nyumba hii kwa sababu ya sherehe ya ndoa ambayo iko mbele yetu baba Mungu wetu tunaomba uwepo wako na uongozi wako tunaomba kwamba Mungu wetu jinsi umebariki familia hizi mbili na kuwalea kwa njia ya pekee mpaka umbali huu na watoto hao ambao umewabariki nao ambao sisi tunasherehekea siku hii wanapoingia katika maisha mapya ya ndoa ninaomba baba kwa neema zako wao pia wajalie neema ili siku nyingine na wao wawe na furaha kuu wanapokaa kwa kikao cha pekee ya jinsi ya leo Mungu wetu tunapoondoka mahali hapa na kuingia katika hekalu yako 
na loomba ni uwepo wako na uwepo wa roho wako katika maisha yetu baba tuelekeze kipendezavyo na kufanikisha upeo ni katika Kristo Yesu aliye bwana mwokozi wetu
mtana huyu mwanamke huyu kwa harusi hii kwa sababu hiyo nitaomba kwamba wasazi hao waweze kusalimiana pale imekupendeza tuweze kukaa kwa masaa haya tutafakari juu ya neno hili neno la pendo neno ambalo ni la uzima neno litakalo kuhifadhi hata mwisho wa wakati bwana Mungu wetu tunapotafakari neno hili tunaomba tena roho wako asemezane nasi ni katika Kristo Yesu aliye bwana mwokozi wetu kuna mambo manne tunaopata kutoka mahali pale na kabla niweze kuangazia mambo haya manne lazima niweze kuangazia hali halisi ya maisha 
ya kila siku ya kijamii ni kwamba jamii kwa kisazi hiki wanapoitasama swala ya ndoa kikana kwamba ni swala tu ya watu kukubaliana na pia wanaweza kuamua pia kwa wakati wowote ya maisha yao kufunja maagano yao ndoa za siku hizi ni zile tunaunganisha leo na kesho wanasema nafikiri hatuwezi endelea kuishi nafikiri kila mmoja anaweza endelea na maisha yake hiyo ni hali halisi ya maisha ya kisazi hiki lakini mwandishi huyu ametumia mambo makuu ambao katika enzi ile ilikuwa ni vitu vya kutisha vitu vya kuokoa vitu ambavyo hakuna mtu aliwahi kuwaza kama vingeweza kushindwa na mambo haya ni kama yafuatayo katika haya hiyo ya sita jambo hili la mauti mpaka leo hii sisi wote tunakiri kwamba kuna mwenye ameshinda kipo si ndio kweli ama huku kisi tumeshinda bado watu wanakupa eh hata watu wa samani wa kale walikuwa naopia sana kitu inaitwa kifo ilikuwa tisho kubwa sana na ingali tisho baka paulo anaangalia wakati itakapokoma ni huko siku zijazo jambo la pili ni swala la moto moto ilifikiriwa kuwa ni uwezo mkubwa ambao ungeweza kuangamizwa kwamba ikishaanza kuapa itamla chochote kile itakachofikia na hakuna atakaye uzima so moto iliyokopwa sana cha tatu ilikuwa ni maji na nafikiri waandishi wa kano la kale walikuwa na tafakari juu ya karika ile ya nuru jinsi ilivyoangamiza ulimwengu wote na walioponea ni wale waliokuwa katika safina ile vitu hivi vitatu viliokopwa sana kitu cha nne kilichokopwa ni ardhi hii ulimwengu hii penye tunaishi mchanga ule iliyokopwa kwa enzi zile kwamba itanyesha mvua nyingi lakini hii ardhi ina mesa Watu wanakufa na hakuna siku imejaza. Ilikuwa mambo makubwa na mwandishi wa wipo ulio bora Sulemani anapoangalia uhusiano ya wapenda nao anaangalia upendo kama mmoja yapo ya vitu ambavyo haviwezi kushindwa. Na ndivyo anavyolinganisha anasema wale ambao wametawaliwa na upendo ni sawa na wale ambao wametawaliwa na mauti. Na leo hii tunashuhudia pia uwezo huo wa upendo wa kuleta watu wawili na si hao tu peke yao kuleta jamii nzima kuwa wauzika katika pende ya watu wawili. Pendo pia ni karama. Unapozoma katika Biblia kuna karama inayoambatana na upendo. Unajua Samsoni alipenda. Ileta hazara nyingi ya madogo. Ilikuwa ndogo ama nyingi kumbe ni karama. Na nataka kuambia vijana kabla hujasema nakupenda. Hesabu karama pia ya kupenda. Eh, waje kusema nakupenda. Hesabu karama ya kupenda. Ukisha dhati mimi nakujua unaweza haya sema nakupenda. Kuna jambo hapa tunafundishwa kuhusu upendo kwamba ni ya milele. Hivyo wale mmeingia katika ndoa wale tutawashuhudia wa, tuta leo wakiingia katika ndoa na wale ambao siku zijazo wataingia katika ndoa mjue jambo hili kwamba ndoa si swala la kupita ni swala la umilele tafakari karama ya kuwa katika pendo mwandishi huyu wa wimbo huu ulio bora anatukumbusha kwamba wanaotawaliwa na upendo mtasamo wao ni mpana kiasi kwamba hakuna lolote katika maisha yao itawazuia wasipende tunapopenda tumeweka maisha yetu huko na kwa sababu tumeweka maisha yetu pale hakuna kurejelea hakuna kurudi nyuma tumeamua na tumejitoa kwa hali zote pia anatukumbusha kwamba mali si 
kulinganisha si jambo la kulinganisha na upendo. Na ndio sababu anasema kama mtu angetoa badala ya upendo maji yote ya nyumbani mwake angedharauliwa kabisa. Sasa kama ukitoa mali yako yote bado unadharauliwa. Then upendo ni zaidi ya mali. Upendo ni tabia ya Mwenyezi Mungu mwenye. Na tunapopendana inatukumbusha tabia ya Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba yeye ni pendo. Familia zetu sikijengo kwa misingi ya upendo. Hakuna chochote itakachofuta. Hakuna chochote itakachoshinda. Maana pendo imelinganishwa na vitu visivyoshindwa. Na hivyo wapendwa ndio katika ndoa tafakarini juu ya mambo haya. Ninyi mnaoingia katika ndoa tafakari juu ya neno hili. Na pendo alitishiwi. Pendo alikatishwa tamaa. Pendo udumu kwa hali zote na ushinda katika hali zote. Mungu aweze kutubarikia na kutunaemisha tunapokuwa katika pendo hilo kufanana. Hatua tunaoingia ni hatua ambaye naamini kupitia sasa ni hatua rasmi. Sijapata mlalamishi so si zemi nani anapingamizi. Ana Kama unapingamizi kuna kitu ndakwa ndakwagiza ufanye. Na hiyo kitu ile ndakwagiza ufanye ingefaa wewe ulikwisha kufanya unanipatia leo unanipokeza. Na hiyo ni kitu tunaita call order. Si maoni yako. So siwezi uliza nani ana jambo juu ya hii. Ilikwisha tangazwa na ni site ya siku 21 kulingana na sheria na hivyo nina mamlaka yote ya kisheria ya nchi hii kutekeleza tendo hili. Na cheti lenyewe liko hapo hata. Na kwa sababu huna jambo namaza namna gani? Namaza namna gani? Asante. Kuna tendo iliyowahi tendeka pale nyuma na ikanakiliwa katika Biblia kwamba kuna jamaa alifanya kazi miaka saba na baada ya hiyo atapokezwa kisichokuwa ama mjawai soma hii so ninaomba waharuzi hao wasimame na wiki ipatwa kishie ndiye ili tuende hatua inayofuata Salimiana naye mara ya kwanza ndio inaadhimishwa kama ni hiyo. Kumbe si sura. Ile mkono. imehakikishwa ni yeye nataka nichukue ile hatua ya kuweka ahadi na kwa sehemu hiyo maalum ya ahadi taomba kwamba uweze kusonga karibu na wao ndani mikono sawa da itaanza na wikilif i wikilif ngori again before god and before these witnesses thank you lena mora omoke to be my lawfully wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the sacred estate of mat matrimony, I promise to love you, to comfort you, to honor you, and to cherish you in sickness and in health, in prosperity or in adversity, and forsaking all others, keeping only unto you until death do us part. And this is my vow to you, my love.
Понятно, а, 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 Before God and before these witnesses, I take you with me on God is again to be my lawfully wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the sacred estate of matrimony. I promise to love you, to comfort you, to honor you, and to cherish you in sickness and in health, in prosperity, or in adversity. I'm forsaking all others. I'm forsaking all others to keep you only, to keep unto you until death do us part. And this is my vow to you, my love. Kishana kwamba watapendana juali wake mvua inyeshe Paka mauti weze watenganishi Bazi nami kwa makulata ya injili kwa mamlaka ya sheria ya nji tukufu ya Kenya Marriage Act 2014 inatangaza Wycliffe na Lena kama mme na mke kulingana na sheria ya taifa la Kenya na yote ambaye ameunganishwa na Mungu hakuna aliye na uwezo wa kutenganisha Tunaomba Tunaomba Au kila mmoja afumbe macho tuweze kuomba Mtakatifu Mtakatifu Mungu na Baba yetu Tunakushukuru kwa wema na rehema zako Tunashukuru kwa kipawa cha uhai Tunashukuru kwa kipawa cha ndoa Kwamba Mungu ilikupendeza ukamuumba mume na mke. Na ilikuwa kusudi lako waweze kuishi katika pendo lako. Na waweze kushuhudia wema wako katika maisha yao wakikuabudu na kukutukuza siku zote. Na Mungu wetu hata kwa kizazi hiki ungali unatukumbusha lengo hili la Hawali. Unatukumbusha kwamba ulikuzudia ndoa zetu ziweze kudumu milele zote hata baada ya kifo kuingia na hivyo Kristo tunaomba kwa neema zako na kwa pendo lako la ajabu uweze kutupatanisha na kutulinda chini ya pendo lako sasa wawili hawa ambao wameaidiana kwamba Mungu kwa hali zote za maisha yao utawalinda na kuwakuza kwa kukutumainia wataishi kwa pamoja hata kifo itakavyo watenganisha niombi langu kwamba Mungu wetu hadi hii iweze kuwa alizi katika maisha yao ya kila siku wakikutarajia wewe ulio mwokozi wao wewe unayekuja katika utukufu wa, wako kwa ajili ya ukombozi wetu waweze kuishi kila ujao kwa mfano wa upendo wako wa ajabu na wanapoashiria pendo kuu Ulio dhihirisha kwa kanisa lako Mungu wetu wadumishe na kila familia iliyo mahali hapa ambao wameakilishwa katika nyumba hii inayoitwa kwa jina lako Bwana na waweka wako pia uweze kuwatendea wema ukiwadumisha pendoni mwako na kuadhihirisha katika ushindi wa upendo utakapokuja baada ya pili na sasa Mungu wetu naomba mibaraka yako iwe juu ya hawa wawili wanapoanza safari yao ya ndoa na wawe na tumaini hili 
ya kuwa washindi katika pendo lako yombi letu katika Kristo aliye Bwana na mwokozi wetu Hakuna plan B imeisha. Imeisha. I think Roy imekulia. Sebuku so sikika imepitia.
Tia sahi cheti yao ya ndoa na cheti kulingana na mali ya 2014 inakuja kwa daftari tatu moja ni lile nitakao wapokeza leo hii pili itaenda nazo na itaenda na ile certificate yenye ile alalisha kuunganisho kwa hii ndoa Hivyo moja itabaki kwa conference na ingine itaenda kwa attorney general. Nataka ni wape cheti yao ya ndoa na wenye watajua jinsi ya kulitunza. Nimo wapa, mkiaribu, niju yenu. Unapokea kwa pamoja halafu, utajua nani ya tatunza, niju yenu sasa.
harusi hao watatuongoza best tapo in a procession itawafuata in reverse Sana 
Ache unasahau kuna kamera ingine inachukua vitu. Unaingia tu. Acha hiyo Hallelujah, 
Uh, now, my love, life has now begun. Today, you are changing into another status in life. And uh, I hope you are going to be faithful to God, not me. I need to be faithful to God. And I be faithful to God. Be faithful to each other. So work on your faithfulness to God, not on your faithfulness to me. We are human beings. So. Okay? So, when you will be waking up for prayers, ensure I also wake up in the morning we pray. And when you sleep without praying, you are, you are now the one who is going to be the timekeeper for prayer. I will be the timekeeper for Bible study. Okay? So, prayer has to be your warrior, and study has to be my warrior so that we will have wisdom and knowledge on how to conduct this new status. Okay? What do you have to tell me? Man, <laughs> I'm impressed by the short someone made. <laughs> Just to ask God to grant us His mercies and His faithfulness so that we can accomplish His will in our lives and in our family that we have just started. It's just my prayer that it's God who will be first in everything. Just like the two thieves, we are now two thieves who will who have been united by the Christ, by mm, Christ. By Christ, who is in yes. between us. Uh, yeah. yeah. I pray that whatever conflict that may arise, whatever differences that may arise, we solve them, focusing on Jesus Christ mm. being the biggest cancer. Mm. Yes. Yeah, we are together with our couples here. We can also our best couples. You can also say something so that we can be able to keep the air for a moment. Ladies first. Okay. Uh, I'm so happy to be Good. We mm. had fun. And I want to wish Richard and Lena a blessed marriage. It has been a very special day for us as uh, the best couple in this wedding. It has been uh, something that we have been looking forward to and finally God has seen us through. This family that has started, now we call it the family of Nikki. And we pray that God that grant them a true harmony in the family. And they may be they start fellowship in the house. Uh, that God leads them, God to be the first and the end in everything. Uh, Lena, you be now you're not a girl anymore. You're now a wife. I've not heard anyone you say this is my husband or this is my wife. It's it's not easy to say that as a now. It will get used to you know you should know that you're going to make your home and weekly you love your wife so that you're going to make your house and home. Something which is very special and the last one mm -hmm. conflicts will be there. You will not be smiling every day. And the way you solve those conflicts and that's a lot. Very important. Mm -hmm.
now you can so, I love this. Hmm? I, love this. The, <laughs> I, I am feeling wonderful. As in, such a thing has never happened to me. Now uh, I think it's like the day is starting. <laughs> As in this is my new home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Pray God that I may be a resourceful woman in this place. Yeah, the fact that people have come out to receive me and welcome me in this place. I'm just praying that I may provide good service to the sacrifice that these people have made. <laughs> because I came late yeah and I had to do it because if, if as in some things pressure is too much until you you just wonder what should you do yeah I salute <laughs> sometimes you wonder what to do the pressure being too much on you no one being on your side you fail to you fail to understand Big shock on me. No, I didn't. I just saw it as a And I was very disappointed. It's just amazing. I just love all this. Yes! <laughs> I'm going to meet home. Mm. 
But anyway, I just give it up. I'm ready. I'll accept everything. You'll accept everything. Another thing is going to be. These are for plans for us. Yeah. I don't know. And the rains. Hey, you can hmm? see the way. <laughs> and the rains have really. I thank God for this. Bear with us. But then I was praying for it. And yesterday when I was being asked that what about the rains, I told them the rains will rain after the wedding is over. Mm -hmm. And they just thank God. It was just a, a word of faith that has come to fruition that God has sustained the rains. We have finished the day well. And we are home. Now this is my home and I accept it and I love it the way it is. So I thank God for it. Okay. Yes. Begin your life. <laughs> there is a song I wanted to sing. It wasn't just.
Kirango, hija. Cara Kirango, cara Kirango, hija. Cara Kirango, estamos en Uma. Estamos en Uma. Hoy en la noche comer la vaca de barro. Sí, sí. Habana, su comega, su comega, Habana. Habana, su comega. Balas, <laughs> Coconut, kilama sasa ime coconut, rafu smile Wali yo wana na waishi mende ni mpango wa mungu Wali kitu chema hili ya zaede ni wawili wape nande Shendo watakatifu na mipango ya kando Mkipata watoto na uwaelekeze mwajia za kimungu Wali uwanda na uwaishi miane ni mpango wa mungu Doa ni kita chema jili ya zaidi Kwa wili wapena Kabisa nito nwezi chukua hii ukaipelega kwa photoshop Smiley kidogo. Smiley ni kidogo. Mwaka wajua ya buibu yuko black ya mwenye lako smile. Yeah, at least bwa. At least ume smile. Sasa mimi simu. Piga zikiwa hivi. Ulaze tu hivi. Manake zile za kusumamba hizi mwaka. Ndiyo imeisha 
Demesh. Na kadra maibe kushikashika kichwa cha mzee bila. Aya, sawa. Aya, kama ni sawa. Aya. Bye. 
Madam Shika, Asawa, Basimu Nakazana, Queen,
Thank you.